A very warm welcome to you wherever you are watching us from. This is an English edition of Dalsan TV, Somalia's top number one TV station for news and updates. My name is Abdelazak Ali and let's have a look at some of our top stories. Somali security forces provide relief to flood affected residents in Afmadou district. President Hassan Sheikh Mohamud opens the fourth session of the federal parliament. Kenya extends warm welcome as Somalia joins East African community. Pirate activities resurge off Somalia coast, heightening security concerns. And anti-Al-Shabaab campaign takes a new turn. Now welcome back to this edition of Dalsan TV. An amateur plane carrying piece of a cloth bearing war writings of Kawariji are our enemies has rocked the internet. On a mature video of a plane carrying a piece of cloth bearing the writings, Kawarija our enemies has rocked the internet. The helicopter was flying low on Lido Beach, where multitudes gather on Friday to enjoy the golden sun and the blue waters of Indian Ocean. One of President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed's multifaceted approach to countering Al Shabaab insurgency, other than militaries challenging their ideology. The Hassan Sheikh led administration has held religious meetings with scholars from across East Africa to challenge the doctrines of the extremist Al-Shabaab group. A massive anti-Al-Shabaab campaign have also been launched in different parts of the country to challenge the extremist views of Al-Shabaab. The origin of the helicopter remains vague, but the message was clear. Kawarij is the enemy. Now elsewhere, the Somali National Army Forces, in collaboration with the Jubaland State Forces, have delivered an essential aid including food to the people affected by floods in Afmadu district. The Somali National Army Forces in collaboration with Jubaland State Forces took swift action by delivering essential relief supplies to the people of Afmadu district. The devastating floods have brought about immense hardship for the local population, prompting the urgent need for assistance. The joint forces mobilized in distributing a range of crucial items to the affected residents. Food stuff, Water, blanket and medicine were among the supplies provided ensuring that the basic needs of the flood victims were met. Additionally, the forces carried out a commendable evacuation operation, rescuing stranded individuals and relocating them to safer zones away from the flood waters. Afmedo district, situated within the jurisdiction of Jubaland, a federal member state of Somalia, has been grappling with recent recurring floods as a result of the seasonal rains. The swelling of the Juba River, which bridges its banks during this period, has been the primary cause of these devastating floods. The consequences have been dire, with communities enduring displacement, damaged infrastructure and the loss of livelihoods. Now elsewhere, the president of the federal government of Somalia, that is Hassan Sheikh Mohamud, has officially opened the fourth session of the federal parliament of Somalia following his return from Arusha, Tanzania, where he participated in the East African Community Summit, which culminated into Somalia joining the bloc. President Hassan Sheikh Mohamud has on Sunday officially opened the fourth session of the federal parliament in the capital following his return from Arusha, Tanzania, where he participated in the East African Community Summit, which culminated into Somalia joining the group. In his maiden speech to the lawmakers, President Mahmoud underlined his administration efforts and success in lobby force for and success for and successively joining the East African Community Regional Bloc as the eighth member. The head of the state lauded the MPs for enacting crucial bills which he said are critical to the development and nation building as the country gears up for regional integration. The president also highlighted the strides made by his administration in the ongoing counterterrorism effort offensive against Al-Shabaab, which he said has gained momentum. He commended the Somali National Army for their bravery and patriotism in eradicating the Al-Shabaab group from several areas which are under the, central, under the control of the Somali government. The president furthermore delineated to the members of the parliament on preparation of the second phase of the offensive against the Al-Qaeda group and called on the legislators to play a vital role in defeating the terror organization. Mohamud, in concluding his speech, called for the urgent resolution of the political and electoral impasse in Puntland State 
and appeal to the political leaders in the region to comply with the call by traditional and international partners for peaceful and credible elections. Now, Somalia has been admitted into the East African community as the eighth member of the EAC, drawing praise from the cabinet secretary of Kenya, Musalia Mudavadi. Somalia has been admitted as the eighth member of the East African community, EAC, drawing praise from Prime Cabinet Secretary Musalia Mudavadi. As the Foreign and Diaspora Affairs Cabinet Secretary, Mudavadi emphasized the importance of strengthening regional ties and fostering unity to unlock the immense potential of East Africa. Expressing his congratulations, Mudavadi stated together, the decision to admit Somalia under the Treaty of Accession was announced by the outgoing EAC chair, Burundian President Evariste Ndashimie, during a summit of the grouping in Tanzania. Somali President Hassan Sheikh Mohamud was present at the summit to witness the historic moment. The East African Community EAC was founded in 2000 with the aim of encouraging the trade by eliminating customs duties between member states. The treaty for the establishment of the East African Community was signed on November 30th, 1999 and came into force on July 7, 2000, following ratification by the original three partner states, Kenya, Uganda, and Tanzania. Rwanda and Burundi joined the East Africa Community on June 18, 2007, becoming full members of this community on July 1, 2007. South Sudan became a member in 2016, followed by formal accession of the Democratic Republic of Congo in 2022 after signing the treaty accession in Nairobi. The EAC aims to widen and deepen cooperation among the partner states in political, economic, and social fields for mutual benefit. The East African community also administers key services including oversight of civil aviation, coordination of public health policy, promotion of Swahili as a regional language, and funding sustainable development initiatives. Now elsewhere, the pirate activities have re-emerged along the coast of Somalia, marking a resurgence after several years of diminishing incidents. Ships are now being strongly advised to avoid venturing close to Somali territorial waters due to the escalating risk of pirate attacks and armed robberies. Pirate activities have re-emerged along the coast of Somalia, marking a resurgence after several years of diminishing incidents. Ships are now being strongly advised to avoid venturing close to Somali territorial waters due to the escalating risk of pirate attacks and armed robberies. Adding to the evidence of renewed piracy, a recent incident occurred when an Iranian-flagged fishing vessel named Al Miraj 1 was hijacked by armed Somali clan militia off the coast of El, an ancient port town in Somalia. Reports indicate that the hijackers demanded a hefty ransom of 400,000 US dollars and issued threats of further hijackings if their demands were not met. According to maritime security consultant Embry, the hijackers justified their actions by claiming that the vessel was engaged in unregulated fishing, leading to its confiscation. Somalia has strict fishing regulations in place, prohibiting foreign ships from operating within its waters without proper authorization from the authorities. The militia reportedly sought assistance from the authorities but found no support, which prompted them to take control of the vessel. The incident involving the Al Miraj 1 serves as a reminder of the need for maritime security and effective enforcement of fishing laws. The Iranian flagship embarked on its journey from Chabahar in Iran in October and conducted fishing operations within Somali waters for approximately one month. The vessel, identified as a jailboat type round stern doe, features a white and blue superstructure. Somali style white hold skiffs and single outboard engines. Given the heightened risks, ships are being strongly warned to steer clear of the area. While piracy off the Somali coast had gradually declined in recent years, with larger vessels being the primary targets, the recent incident involving the Almiraj 1 underscores the potential for smaller fishing vessels to fall victim to piracy as well. The most recent hijacking of a commercial vessel prior to this incident occurred in 2017. When the boat carrier OS-35 became the fifth ship to be attacked within a span of three weeks. In response to the escalating threat, international maritime organizations, navies and coastal states are urged to intensify their efforts in combating piracy and protecting the waters off the coast of Somalia. Cooperative initiatives, intelligence sharing and enhanced patrols are essential in deterring and swiftly responding to pirate attacks. 
that's all we have prepared for you. My name is Abdul Ali. We wish you a lovely evening.